Hello everyone. Today we shall explain about Bardo's wheel. I will show you the different parts of Bardo's wheel. First of all, I will show you the various parts of Bardo's wheel and then explain how Bardo's wheel works. Right? Let us first explain the various parts of Bardo's wheel. After that, I will explain how Bardo's wheel works. Right? Let us first. Now you see, mainly, actually there are two parts here. One is this is the bottle's wheel, right? And this is attached to this rod, right? And you see this bottle's wheel will, re will revolve in this way clockwise, or it may be anti clockwise, or it may be clockwise, right? This is the bottle's wheel. And the second part is this one, you see here. See, you have to first of all, you have to see the connection. Suppose there are two points here, one point is this one and one terminal is this here. Suppose you want to join this positive terminal here and this is connected with this one. That means this is connected with this rod, right? This is one, this is the connection. And the second one is connected here, you see. The second one is connected here, the wire comes here and it comes to the magnet, right? It turns around, turns around and it, this way it comes and again turns around and it goes in this, in this hole. Here it comes and it joins here and here see there is a, a screw, right? That means this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal, right? If you put this positive and this negative, then this will be the negative terminal and this rod will be the positive terminal, right? Now, what is the these, are the, these are the parts of this bottle's wheel and you see this is our mercury and you know that mercury is a good conductor of electricity. We put mercury here in this here and when we put this, put this bottle's wheel and touch the mercury, right, touch the mercury, this mercury will complete the circuit through this point, you see this one. Mercury will touch this, this screw and circuit completes and this bottle will revolve in this way, right? When circuit is complete and this is our cell or battery, let us see how it works, right? Now, we know that that bottle wheel works on the principle of Fleming's left hand rule, right? And here you see Fleming's left hand rule is there. Here, if we extend all the three fingers all at right angle, then this is the forefinger, this is the middle finger and this is the thumb. Here this is the forefinger, forefinger points to the magnetic field and magnetic field is direction is north to south. Suppose this is north pole, this is south pole and this is in this direction, right? And this is what we say as the electric current. Suppose the electric current is going this positive in this direction that means along downwards, this is the positive downwards. And this one, the thumb shows the direction of the direction of the conductor, right? The force in this way, right? That means this this uh, wheel will rotate in this direction because the force is in the right side. The force is in the right side, therefore it will revolve in this direction, right? Now let us set up this. Let us again explain that this is the direction of the magnetic field. This is the direction of the electric current. Therefore, the thumb will show the direction of the force or direction of the conductor in which it deflects, right? That means in this direction, in this direction, right? That is on the right side. The force is on the right side. Therefore, it will revolve in this direction that is anti-clockwise direction. This is anti-clockwise, right? Let us see how it works or not. Now, first of all, we will put this do put this mercury at this position, fill up this position. After that, I will set this
here and such that the mercury and this arrow touches each other such that it completes the uh, circuit. Now I will join this positive and negative terminal of the power battery here. This is the positive terminal and you see here if we join the positive terminal here you see if we join this is our positive terminal this is the positive terminal that means this current flows through this rod right after that it goes here and after that it goes through this barrel's wheel and it comes goes downward and it touches with the mercury and completes the circuit right and if you also close this one this one the negative terminal this is the negative terminal right and now I will put some mercury here such so that this bottle switch touches the mercury and completes the uh, circuit. Let us uh, give the mercury at this position. Let us again explain once again. This is the direction of the magnetic field that is north to south. This is the this middle finger shows the direction of current that would this thumb shows the direction of the conductor or direction of the force in which it acts. Therefore, the direction is on the right side in this direction, in this direction. Therefore, the force is in this direction that we will rotate in anti-clockwise direction, it, in this direction. Now, let us put some mercury at this position. Here we put some mercury here and if we put this, put this and join this one and join this one such that the arrow wheel touches the mercury. just touches the mercury at a point and now if we complete the circuit let us see what happens right if we complete this circuit and let's see whether the barrel's wheel rotates or not let us try now if we complete the circuit let us try and see whether the barrel's wheel are rotating or not if we complete the circuit let us see Right now, this is working or evolving in the anti clockwise direction. Now, if we change the polarity, that means positive, if we change the polarity, what will happen? Let us see. If we change the polarity, this bottles will revolve in other direction. And if you also change the magnetic field, that is, this north pole changes to this side and this south pole to this side, then it will revolve in the opposite direction right and if we change both polarity and the magnetic field then the bottle wheel will revolve in the same direction right and if you want to increase the revolve revolution of this bottle wheel you have to increase the magnetic you have to increase the magnetic field right or you have to increase the power of magnet or you can increase also the electric field and if you increase both the electric field and both electric current and magnetic field, then this water wheel will revolve in a better way, right? Let us see if we change the polarity, what happens? Here you see, we are changing the polarity. This negative point, we are changing here. And this positive point, we are changing at this point. And let us see what happens. Now we change the polarity and if we join this one, let us see what happens, right? If we switch on the, on this cell, let us find what happens. You see, it will rotate in the opposite direction, right? That's why if we change the polarity, it will revolve in the opposite direction. If we change the magnetic field, it is also 
revolve in the opposite direction if you change both the polarity and the magnetic field it will revolve in the same direction and if you increase the magnetic field this bodies will do it the rotation of the bodies will, will increase and if you increase the current then also the bodies will, will the bodies will, will rotate and if more is more and if you increase the current and also the magnetic field then the bodies will, will move or rotate very fast this is the way or this is the bodies will Dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you everybody for watching this video.